I'll now request uh, uh, Professor Raj Pala, who is at IIT Kanpur. So we were looking for uh, someone to speak on behalf of the faculty, and the Yogesh pointed out that I would be most appropriate uh, for two reasons. Uh, when I joined uh, IIT Kanpur, due to some personal reasons, I had to found, uh, find a house very urgently. And uh, SKG was at uh, Bombay at that time. So he willingly offered me, and uh, he gave me a list of 80 things where things were, uh, and uh, that I got an idea uh, of what uh, SKG is. And uh, the second reason was uh, I uh, wanted to do some experiments, and there was some space uh, shortage and money shortage because I didn't have any projects. And I went, uh, Anil, without any uh, conditions, he offered not only his lab, he bought consumables, and many mentored me on uh, how to not to blow up uh, equipments and so on. Okay, So I'm very grateful for both SKG and Anil uh, when I got uh, started here. And actually, in reality, their influence in my career um, uh, started a long time ago. I mean, during my undergraduate years, I did a lot of experiments in polymer science and engineering. As many students in India, the first book which I read about polymer science and engineering was written by SKG and Anil. Uh, so as academicians, we usually, uh, when we choose a research problem, we look at uh, roads that are less traveled, but when you are trying to decide where to work, you look at the departments and look at the accomplishments of faculty who were, uh, who were there before you. And uh, as on behalf of many young faculties, I would really vouch that uh, the credentials and scholarship of Anil and SKG played an important role in deciding uh, where to come back to when we came back to India. Um, as my good friend uh, Shankar um, uh, once said, uh, when uh, many of the Indian students, when we move from fluids-oriented unit operations to mechanics of fluid, uh, the first book we read is The Gupta and Gupta. Okay, so uh, SKG is a legendary teacher uh, in the campus. Uh, just the last semester, the final semester, he taught three faculties, Yogesh, Shankar and myself, sat through some parts of his course to imbibe uh, his teaching tradition. Only will time will tell whether we imbibe it. Uh, and uh, uh, the good thing, uh, thing about SKG is once he goes on his charm offensive, it's very, very hard to resist. Okay? So he not only uh, follows up on his charm, he follows up with his charm on very good deeds. Okay? So, uh, and his uh, web of influence not, uh, is not restricted to faculty colleagues. Many of the spouses of the faculty would be very glad to talk much about <laughs> SKG also. And, uh, he is, uh, and he puts a lot of effort to bringing in together many faculty, as, I mean, faculty families together as a close-knit community. Okay? So he now, uh, he's a, a very fond uncle and a fond grandfather of many of the kids who were making a racket yesterday night. Okay? Uh, and uh, I would quote uh, one anecdote. Uh, to tell you why I always like collaborating with Anil. Okay? Uh, so I'm not making this up. Uh, so after my design class, I used to uh, go and have coffee with Anil in his lab. Uh, you won't believe that, but the coffee made under high partial pressure of organic vapors. It's actually very tasty, okay? So you might not believe, but <laughs> that's not the point. So in that season, Anil was doing a controlled experiment. So his right shoes, he was polishing with a Kiwi, a Kiwi shoe polish obtained for the market. His left shoes, he was polishing with his own uh, polish, which was made in the lab. And let me exactly be clear how this was done. He would remove his shoes, pick up a brush, and start polishing. And as he's polishing, he would tell me how the microstructure of the molecule is connected to the evaporation rates of the polymer, how light is reflected from the surface. Okay? So it was a, uh, but that's not the punchline. So uh, one of these sessions, this was going on, and an UG student suddenly came, and he was stunned. There was a senior faculty who was with his shoes polishing. <laughs> <laughs> and this junior faculty crossed leg. And Anil, Anil being Anil, he didn't give a damn. And he, he, he was, with the same intensity, he was talking about the molecular structure and evaporation rate. And I want to tell the student, it's not my shoes he's polishing. <laughs> he's actually polishing his own shoes. And Anil really didn't give a damn. <laughs> Just to add one more thing, when I came here, I was sitting in faculty building uh, 453, room number 453, 
And in that season, uh, our course allocation con convener with a straight face, he came and told me that people who sit in room number 453 are allocated uh, course number CHE 453. I was very naive at that time. I bought the date and accepted and later knew that it was chemical engineering de uh, design course. Okay. So I was very anxious and I went to Anil uh, who said, don't worry, I was a 24 year old boy when I came to IIT Kanpur, that is IIT Kanpur tradition. They first dump a design course on the youngest guy, but not only that, he guided me, uh, really handheld me on how to teach design. His course uh, book, which was written in 1982, was uh, before Douglas's book, which came in 1988, had very clear presentation of many of the important topics. Okay, So uh, we have discussed, spent many, many hours uh, in uh, deciding what to teach and how to teach and uh, and many other things. Okay, so just to conclude, uh, I would really say that uh, uh, Professor Gupta and Professor Anil uh, Kumar, uh, though you would be leaving our campus, I think uh, you would be eternally with all the faculty colleagues because you have had a deep influence in the way we teach, in the way we practice engineering, and the way we live. Thank you. I will request Professor Raju Mankar, um, PhD student of Antwerp. Uh, Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say a few words on this occasion. First, Professor Anil Kumar. Professor Anil Kumar taught me the course Numerical Methods when I was studying here for my PhD during the years 1994 to 1998. Thank you very much, sir, for that course. And when I met him, after finishing my PhD work, after my submission, he gave me his book, recently published in those days, book by Professor Rakesh Gupta and Professor Anil Kumar as a departing memento. Thank you very much, sir, for that. I am standing on behalf of all the students of Professor Santosh Gupta, who taught us many things. I would like to say just few words about him, his qualities, his teaching qualities, and the way he nurtured all of us. Sir, you have the ability to bond with your students to understand and resonate their feelings and emotion, to communicate at their level, to be compassionate with them when they are down and to celebrate with them when they are up. All of us experience this remarkable quality of Professor Gupta when we were the part of his research group. Sir, you taught us to keep smile on our face when things get tough to see only the bright side of the things because all of us know in our PhD days we come across such tough times and at, in those days he always taught us to keep smiling. He taught us that there is a place for tradition but there is also a place for new things, new ways, new ideas, new systems and new approaches. And this gave us always the inspiration and insight for looking into new research problems, new kind of solutions. Professor Santosh Gupta was always open and willing to listen to our ideas and at times accepted some of our ideas which were worth accepting. He is a role model for all of us. Sir, you are a window through which all of us, all your students, see our future. And I will end this with a saying. It is said by Kusumagraj, a well-known Marathi poet. The last line of the poem, I will read in Marathi and then I will try to uh, tell in English. The last line of the poem is, Pathi varti hatthyun tumi fakta ladhvana. It is like that a student when a teacher who taught him is retired, spending his days as a retired life with his family, and a student like me comes in trouble, there is no solution anywhere 
and then he thinks that maybe go back to his teacher and he may give some solution. And at that point of time, the teacher thinks that this student maybe he is needing some financial support and he takes his hand towards his own pocket and at that time the student says, Sir, we can't ask you anything more as you have already given us much more than we deserve. Sir, please, whenever, not only me, but any one of us will need help, just put your hand on our shoulder and say, keep fighting. Thank you very much. Uh, we are saying so many times retired and all that. I don't see these two gentlemen uh, really retired. They will probably be working harder uh, or as hard uh, as they've been working at IIT. So, in fact, in my conversations with, with them, that's what it appears. Okay, now I'll request uh, Professor Manoj Ramtheki, who is at IIT. Okay. I'm Manoj. Uh, I did my PhD with Professor Gupta and also MTech with him. I was almost six years with him here at IIT Kanpur, and I feel really privileged to be here. Uh, well, without saying anything, I'll just start to narrate a story for you. Uh, <coughs> there was a bird. He wanted to go on a voyage, but there was a upstream current, so it was difficult to fly against the wind, but he was determined. But he was determined to make it on the other side. <coughs> Luckily, few more birds came, and they were also trying to go on the other side. As usual, it was difficult for them to. However, they have made a swarm. Now, collectively, they can fly with the reduction of a drag. Journey continued. Many, many new birds joined. Few left. This principle we call as a particle swarm algorithm. The same principle worked here at IIT Kanpur quite well. This place became one of the best departments in the chemical engineering from nowhere. Now it's time. Now it's time for that bird to start new voyage. Retirement? Retirement is just another word. Bird cannot retire from flying. It's just that he can switch the swarm. And we are sure the new journey of Professor Gupta and Professor Anil Kumar will be equally interesting and challenging for them. We pray for your good health and thank you. Thank you for making us whatever we are today. Thank you for making us realize what it is meant to be a teacher. Thank you. I pray for your good health. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for calling me here. Uh, like Ashok said, I am a totally non-academic. I am a businessman here, a very small businessman. And I, have, uh, I was in Kanpur always, and I will continue to remain in Kanpur. Uh, I was really fortunate uh, that when I came to IIT, I found a very good group for myself. Uh, particularly when I came into chemical engineering. And like Ashok said, uh, I also shifted from civil to chemical engineering, and perhaps that was uh, another of my uh, very uh, wise decisions. Of course, there were many other reasons, but when, once I was in chemical engineering, I realized that I had made the right decision. And uh, Anil, Santosh, Deepak, and uh, we had some other friends, like, very, we, we formed a very close, knit, closely knit group, like Arun Singhania and Ibrahim Saifuddin, Zenzi Barwala, and five, six of us were here. And uh, uh, the best part of uh, being together was that we had found in this faculty a very social uh, uh, this thing, group. And the faculty members themselves and uh, we students uh, 
did a lot of social uh, gatherings and uh, get-togethers and uh, together with uh, Santosh I we also started a magazine by the name of Kemineers and I think we ran it successfully for almost two years while we were here and thereafter I don't know whether it was continued for how long or not. Uh, Anil, of course, uh, as Ashok pointed out, we, most of us know him by another name, but honestly, I, even I don't know how that name came to be given to him. That was in a private domain, and I think let it be that way. <laughs> and and uh, Deepak, of course, uh, when I came into IIT, there was just one hall of residence, and Deepak and I shared one single room, and uh, of course that was a memorable year for us, and uh, both of us got, I mean, started that smoking <laughs> habit, and, but uh, luckily for me, probably unlucky for him, I discontinued after a week and perhaps he still carries on with it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, this is how we uh, uh, interacted with each other. It was a very closely knit group, very strong group. We had very good bonding and for every small thing we were always consulting each other, helping each other. And uh, that is how we lived our two years as branch mates and uh, after that, even after that, we continued our uh, contacts with each other. Of course, uh, I still uh, regret not having uh, maintain, maintained those contacts in a better way, but still uh, they made me the Alumni Association president once and I have I'm really thankful to them for that tribute that they gave me. Uh, as far as uh, uh, Santosh's ex excellence, academic excellence is concerned, I think the best tribute to him came from a professor in our own department who wrote on his recommendation letter to a university saying that this is a guy who the university should be, should be searching for and not the student searching for a university for himself. So that is how I, it was, and I really consider myself uh, um, this thing very, uh, what should I say, khushkismat for being the batchmate of a topper. And uh, I once again thank you all for inviting me here and giving me the opportunity to say something about my friends. Thank you. And I wish, I wish them both well in the life later on here. Thank you. Uh, now we'll have uh, uh, Professor Deepak Kunjru, if you would. Well, I came in contact with Santosh and Anil back in 1963. <coughs> so it has been a long association of nearly 49 years. And uh, our chemical engineering batch was small, I think around 26 students. So we had a lot of interaction both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. And as Ashok has said, many of us are indebted to Santosh for his help in the assignments. <laughs> and uh, again, after graduation, all three of us, uh, Santosh, Anil, and myself, so happened that went to Pennsylvania. Anil and I were in the same uh, city, Pittsburgh, but I was in a different university, he was different. So we did meet once in a while, but because of our busy schedule, we couldn't meet uh, very often. Then Anil was the first one to come back here in 1972, followed by Santosh in 73. I joined the department in 74, and by that time, they were both married, and uh, they had also become parents by that time. So my sitting down in the campus was therefore very easy. And my wife Sushma and I received a lot of help and uh, advice from them. In fact, uh, when we were married, Sushma didn't know any cooking. 
So, so uh, Shubhra and Renu really helped her in learning a lot of new recipes and making her a cook as uh, whatever she is now. <laughs> and uh, moreover, our children were also in the same class. Uh, so there was frequent social interaction and uh, we would often get together in the evenings at anyone's house and uh, the ladies would cook and whatever was available and uh, we would eat together. And this happened quite often, maybe once a week or so. And uh, moreover, our labs were also on the same floor, are also on the same floor. So we meet regularly. Uh, since my research area is different, so the professional co collaboration was limited, but still we had a few joint students. I think one of them was there last night. Uh, Pushkar is there or he's gone? Uh, the, one of us, one of the joint students sitting here. And uh, so it has been a long and memorable journey for, me, for us together. And I wish both Anil and Santosh all the best in the future endeavors. For me, the department will not be the same without them. I will really miss them. Thank you. Who spent a year here in IIT uh, Kanpur, and uh, then very long innings at IIT Madras. And he was Thanks, Ashok. I first met Anil and Santosh here in 73, I think. I came to give a seminar talk, and came back in 76 to spend a semester. A wonderful time with them. Um, my wife Jayashi also had a wonderful time on this campus. But there was, uh, I was going to collaborate with Professor Kutchatkar, and Kutchatkar was packing his bags to go to Bombay. So there wasn't much point in staying back. And Ramki, again, another person who had common interest, was also leaving and had left by that time, by the time I came back. So I went back to Madras. But uh, that one semester was a wonderful time. I taught part of a large first year course, thermodynamics. Babu was teaching it, and I took over and taught part of it. It was a wonderful time. I taught another course. I think uh, Santosh reminds me, there was one registered student and two unregistered students, and three. OK, you have to correct me. I do remember Anil and Santosh there. And Anil reminds All me that, here. fine? All three are here. <laughs> OK, Gandhi. <laughs> No, Gandhi was away in Pelkington at that time. He didn't come. He wasn't in that course. No, so I'm right. Two, two, and the only student who was registered quit after a month. So, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is advanced thermodynamics, really. Anyway, so I had a really wonderful time. Subsequently, I've kept more in touch with uh, Santosh than with Anil. I've seen him from time to time, from time to time when I came here, but Santosh also visited us. Santosh and Subra came to Chennai also. And uh, I have observed Santosh a lot, of course. He's absolutely a perfectionist. Does things so systematically that he gives you a complex. <laughs> and I know even about this. I was asking him about the event. I sort of guessed about this event. Because it was an event organized in his honor, he was not supposed to play part of the organizing. But uh, he can't help noticing small details. He can't help noticing this and that and reminding people that he's not supposed to tell them that, but they're supposed to do this. <laughs> and anyway, so it's, it's been a wonderful association. I've really had a lovely time. And maybe given uh, we had an opportunity, I would have come back to Kanpur and uh, made sure that Gandhi also stayed here. <laughs> we had a, it, it has really been a beautiful uh, campus. It's, the social life here is much more than in Chennai. Because in Chennai, most people have their own relatives in town. But Chennai has a big advantage that the cultural scene in Chennai is incomparably better outside. So, I mean, it's the center of Carnatic music. It's the center of just what everything, dance and so on. So in that sense, Chennai has some advantages. But uh, I think Kanpur had initial conditions that were extraordinary. I think no other IIT quite had those initial conditions. So I just want to say I don't have to add much more. But I'll simply wish Anil and Santosh and their families all the very best in the future. There's no question of retiring. Anyway, welcome to the retired club that doesn't retire. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm Nitin Kaista. I'm a, I'm a colleague of Anil and Santosh. And, uh, I have had the privilege of being uh, a student as well as a colleague of them. When I was a student, Anil taught us a course, and unfortunately, Santosh. We didn't have the good luck of Santosh or Ashutosh teaching us a course when I was a student. So that was a big miss, but I have got some ma many anecdotes that you'll enjoy. Uh, Anil's course, we've entered the course, there is an aura. 
Last batch, 16 guys flunked. No A's were given. Grading started from B's. Don't mess with it. <laughs> so this was the message for don't mess with Anil. You can mess with anybody, anybody but not with Anil. So first class, Anil comes, you know, it's, it's, it's January and it's you know, with monkey cap. And, uh, and he comes and the, and the chashma is inside the monkey cap, takes off his monkey cap, the chashma falls down, <laughs> picks it up and, and wears it. And then first thing, attendance. So he'll call the name in absolute detail, the full name, and then he'll look. And the fellow will say, yes, sir. Okay. And you know, the chashma is here and he'll see like this, yes, sir, okay. Then the next name. So there was one guy called, such was his aura, there was one guy called Bopudi Shrichand. Okay? And Anil is there, you've heard the song DK Bose, right? So he pronounced it like that, blah, 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 Shrichand. And it was a hilarious situation, but Bopudi Shrichand is, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and no giggling, pin drop silence. And then the lecture starts, you know? You know, my friends, I give only two grades. You can guess what they are. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and, and of course, we knew what they can be. And so he said, you know, if you want to pass my class, you have to be excellent. If you are not excellent, you cannot pass my class. And again, that laughter. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and this was Anil at that point in time. So he used to take a one and a half hour class. It was chemical process technology, one of the most difficult courses to teach. And one of these days what happened was he wrote a big molecule plus another big molecule and I don't remember what that big molecule. And then he made an arrow, it's a reaction. Okay? And the right hand side of the reaction, at the, he just said, take a break, take a break, you know, 50 minutes. We all knew that he wants to go to the loo. <laughs> and we were all crooks. So all of us rushed. And all the urinals got occupied. This floor, next floor, and the bottom floor. <laughs> and we made him wait. <laughs> so you were also crooks. And then, of course, I came for an interview here. And as is the tradition, you know, the head will take you to meet, meet all the faculty. And so he took me to Anil. And of course, Anil being Anil, he recognized, oh, man, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. So then he asked me, or shadi hui? I said, yes. Very good, very good. Bacha hua? <laughs> I, I didn't know. So I said, sir, actually we are thinking. Oh man, thinking se nahi hota hai, to karna <laughs> Okay. So I said, okay, okay. Then, one year later I come back, I have a son, you know, and again the head is taking us around one by one, meet the dean, meet this, meet that, meet the faculty. I reach Anil's room. And of course, I have in my memory what he had remarked one year ago. So then I just, I just said, you know, sir, I took your advice seriously. <laughs> That's all that I said. And then he looks at me, Acha, ladka hai ki ladki. <laughs> That's Anil for you. That's Anil for you. So then I have joined and now Anil is after me to write a book. Okay, and I'm least interested. And like Anupam was saying, Anupam Shukla, you know, for him it's just it gets done like this. So a three-day experiment, agle ghante mein result dikha dena. So he was, he had a manuscript that was there. He was pestering me, so complete kordo and he'll get it published. And I was sort of, you know, not very really interested. So he got it xeroxed because I was not showing it, and then he gave it to me. He bhaiya isko padho, aur fir mujhe, you know, tell me what you think about it. I read it, and as is, you know, academicians are very cocky fellows, so I have my own way of looking at things, and I, ah, this is worth nothing, I just put it in the dustbin, okay? Lo and behold, Anil comes after three days. Tumne padha? I didn't know whether to say yes or no. Acha nahi padha? Oh, I need it, why don't you give it back to me? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I didn't remember where I had put it. I had, I vaguely had that thought that I put it in the, in the, in the dustbin. But I didn't have the, so I looked up here, I pretended to look here, look there. Aray sir, pata nahi sir, kaha rakh diya hai? Nahi, 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 mujhe abhi chahiye. So, instinctively, I took my dustbin, I did like this, and out came the book. And Anil was livid. This is what you think of my work? And he walked out. And, ab kya kare yaar? And this is the greatness of this man, and this, I, I didn't, I, I don't mean good or bad, but two days later, he comes back and says, ah, it's okay. 
We'll still write the book. <laughs> That's the spirit of And you go through ups and downs. Whenever I've gone through downs, I go have a cup of tea in Anil's office. And I come back rejuvenated. Okay, and this incident only highlights that he has that childlike uh, ability. I don't know if I'll be able to emulate him, you know, to be able to forgive so easily, to be able to forgive and forget so easily. This childlike quality, I really have seen in him, appreciated it in him, and I try to emulate it, but I don't know if I'll be as successful as him, and to that I bow to him. Thank you. Now I'd like to request uh, Professor M.M. Sharma to say a few words, because he said lots of things in the morning. One of the things I'd like to mention that uh, for all of us, uh, Anil, myself, and Santosh, uh, we had a conference here, I think in 67, if I'm not wrong, and uh, Professor M.M. Sharma, the bright young chemical engineering professor, came and we were all in awe of, of him. Uh, at that time, and we said, if that's what a chemical engineering professor is, we want to be that. So he was a very inspiring person then, and over the several decades he has been. So, Professor, I mentioned. Sure. I'd like to say a few words and then felicitate the. Well, I have, you know, family members, Santosh, your daughter, other family members. It's a pleasure to be here to felicitate these two gentlemen who have formidable credentials. In fact, uh, put a lot of people to some kind of unease. I'd like to quote for you an editorial, some part of this editorial that appeared in ASHE Journal in early 60s written by T.K. Sherwood. Teacher, person in an academic institution can do one of the three things. Teach, research, scholarly writing. I was very happy if you excelled in one of them. T.K. Sherwood, remember, one of the greatest chemical engineers who qualified for all three in a remarkable way. I say this because both these gentlemen have done all th they are outstanding teachers, they have done outstanding research, and they have done scholarly writing. Scholarly writing is a very, very troublesome. It bugs you. I think it bugs your wives also. No? <laughs> because, you know, one excuse is, Abhi me So you get some, some excuse, you know, I'm writing manuscripts. So there some men I used to write. Our, my wife and his wife were very tolerant because every time we used this excuse that we are revising, revising, revising till somebody gave us this nice piece of advice, let best not be the enemy of good. So you freeze your... You, two of you have done a remarkable job of writing so many, uh, so many books. And please realize that this is becoming very rare all over the world because they find that time you spend in writing a book, same time you did in research, you had your publications and you had your citations, you get promotions faster. But I like to quote, because many anecdotes have been uh, given. I don't know, Santosh, Anil, both of you remember, they were, two, they were both very vigorous guys, you know. I used to come once in a year here for several years from 19... 66, 67, all the way up to 1980, and once in a while after that, but till 1980 I came every year. And they were rather very impressed with doing polymer. I said, why don't you guys link up with industry? I said, Then I remember if I put you in touch with Sudeshi Politics for polyester, uh, uh, yeah, you guys, I said, you know, it's my belief that the utilitarian part invigorates the academic rigors of academic research. And I think you did make context. I'm happy to see that both of you can now say very assertively, life was worth living. When you produce people better than you, 
extra pleasure. So I have great pleasure in uh, appreciating the services. It is loyalty, not an easy thing these days. And since I have some credentials in the sense, I also did only one job. Only one interview, one job. You have done basically one job, you also done one job. All along, you have many guys, Kutchat, Ram, he, all these all fellows work, went off from, from, from here. But you were the pillars, stayed on. Deepak also. Deepak also didn't take up any other uh, job. And that Ashok has, of course, the distinction of three, three IITs, you know. You might have had an excursion to an IIT Bombay, you know, but your heart is still here and was here and will remain here, <laughs> no matter how much you try. <laughs> Ashok or, or Devang, <laughs> guys, when like Kanpur means Kanpur. So I'm very happy that, uh, but you know, that you have been able to produce fellow academics. Now, I always say we teachers have responsibility not only to produce people better than us, but the biggest problem India is facing today is the pedagogy of creating teachers. What we are lacking today, so many institutes have come, there are no teachers. And you also have, I understand, 30% vacancy uh, of uh, posts. Um, IIT Bombay has vacancy, IIT Madras has vacancy, but he was telling me, where is? Where was, no, he has left, so he is free from that responsibility. <laughs> he, he says he has some 10 posts vacant or something like that. But how to get uh, motivated? You know, youngsters these days want quick takeoff in life. You know, cranks like us don't, uh, are disappearing. You know, they want right in the beginning a car, then they get expensive wives, sorry, with apology to wives who are very accommodative, they were willing to live. All of them could have got much better emoluments outside, but decided to have this frugal life, you know, of, uh, of academics. As a professor, I lived as a paying guest, you know, first two years, you know. And people used to say, I must be a madcap, you know, that getting quarter of the salary I could get in Bombay. But you do what you like. And I'm very happy that both of them did what they like. And give them that sense of satisfaction which no amount of uh, financial wealth can ever, ever give you. I pay my tributes to both these gentlemen and also compliment their families to letting them do what they wanted to do. <laughs> it's not easy. If you are a nagging wife, <laughs> you have serious problems. So I'm very happy to be here today. And uh, to sing praises about fellow, my fellow academics and particularly I praise their scholarly writing. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to tell you about hobbies Anil enjoys, you know. Your hobbies. <laughs> so, what is it? So, Professor Shabab, uh, please facilitate uh, Anil. Okay. This is for Anil. For Anil. Yeah. Anil, I am more than happy. Santosh? And may I request uh, Archa Varma to come on stage also? This is Archana Varma. I'd like to do it to see you. Hello. Give a little uh, moment to Arena. <laughs> the last part of the function, we'd like uh, both of you to uh, say a few remarks. Uh, thank you so very much. When uh, Yogesh Joshi and 
V. Shankar uh, mooted the idea of uh, this function. All right, uh, we were a little hesitant, but finally we succumbed. And when he said, when he, he had gone to Bombay and he convinced Professor J.B. Joshi to call up for an appointment with Professor Sharma, and Professor Sharma said, why do, I need, why do they need to have it come over there to meet him? He just said, fine, no problem, we are uncoming, right? That is, <laughs> that's the greatest gift I have gotten. I close, since Ashok has said, and this is not written by KG Toshan. Uh, this is uh, uh, this Gulmahar, which is just recent photograph. Uh, when I planted it, it was just a twig. Uh, and now some statement, which has been written by a person who lives where, still, where trees still grow, that's Dehradun. Uh, and has been made famous very recently by Balram in his editorial in Current Science. I'll read it out for you. There are two things I have to say. One is this. One of the nice things about growing old is that we have so much to look back upon. A stream of memories that never runs dry, the friends of one's youth, faces from the past, adventures, memorable events, dreams lost and found, the good, the bad, the beautiful. The world moves on, but human nature is much the same. Ever in need of a little love, a little sympathy, a little understanding, time past is time present and time future. And with a little adaptation, 44 years of IIT Kanpur, for the sheer joy of it, and on top of it, making a living of it too. What an adventure it has been. And I close now with a statement from my very young colleagues. Mahabbat karne wale kam na honge. Teri mehfil mein mele ki lekin hum na honge. Thank you. 1972, and my father never wanted me, wanted me to join the academics. He wanted me to join some company. And I appeared in two interviews, which was arranged through writing before I came to India. Uh, one was uh, Sahu Jains, and the second was Garware Chemicals. And they offered, see, I was getting 400 rupees a year, and they offered me 3,000 rupees in Bombay. But I stayed on. I married in the same year with my wife, Renu. And uh, I, before the marriage, I was very close to uh, Gandhi and uh, uh, my friend Babu, who is now in the US. And I still clearly remember when the marriage occurred in 1972, November, both these people were there at 4 p.m. in Allahabad to leave at 4 a.m. in the morning to go back to Kanpur. And, uh, uh, teach the next day. At that time, our department was very nice and people were very close to each other. And Babu and Gandhi uh, were there to bless me at that place. Then after that, where I, how the time disappeared, I do not know. And uh, now I stand uh, over here for the the last, for the first 10 years, I worked with SKG, and they were my dreams, dreams here. I then switched to more chemistry and materials, and IIT gave me everything. And in the words of Robert Frost, I say that there is life for that to live on. Thank you.